Hello again everybody, what's going on? This is part two of painting the RV with the chalkboard paint. Uh, the paint, the white paint is now done. I've pretty much got it complete. I've still got to do uh, the bumpers, grill, a few little trim pieces and everything like that, but that I'm going to be using black chalkboard paint, so it's, uh, I haven't got the paint yet for it. The main thing I wanted to get done was the actual white, and uh, it's now done. Looks pretty good. There's a few little spots that uh, didn't come out as well as I wanted, uh, but overall it, it came out better than what the bus did, and the bus did pretty good. Uh, I've only got a couple of spots where you can see the brush uh, the brush rolls and uh, but you know I'm not really worried about that because once people start drawing on it the the chalk dust and everything's gonna pretty much hide a lot of that stuff and uh, the white is it's, it's a satin paint so it's got a little bit of a shine to it opposed to the flat uh, I was a little worried that the satin would not work because everyone says you got to use flat so but looks like it's gonna work and so I think it's gonna I think it came out pretty good uh, unfortunately I'm gonna be afraid to draw on it because it looks so good right now uh, it looks a lot newer but uh, as soon as you start drawing on it it's never gonna look as clean and as nice as it does right now so that's the uh, the downfall of it but that I knew that going into it and I'm gonna have more fun drawing on it so but uh, yeah I'll walk outside and show you how it how it looks <laughs> Now one thing to mention, when I was doing the second coat, uh, I was still getting the grout clumping up and so what I was doing as I was, I would roll it on and while it was still wet I would use my finger and pick out the clumps of grout and once I got them out, you know, then I, start, I went over it again and uh, smoothed out any little bumps so that's why the second cup looks as good as it does it took a little longer but that will prevent me from having to sand the whole thing down again okay here's how it came out that's uh, two coats of paint on it the white is definitely a lot brighter than what it was. Here you can see the difference. At some point I'm going to end up painting the jams, door jams. 
focused. But yeah, you can kind of see the difference in the colors. But it came out pretty good and it hides a lot of the little imperfections in the actual RV bubbles or anything in the fiberglass. It's got a little texture. I don't know if you can see it. Can't really get it in. But uh Uh, still gotta do the bumper grill and everything. That's gonna be black again. Got a few spots you can see the roller mark, but nothing too serious. And then it hides the fiberglass repairs that I did. Can't really see where those were. Yeah, you can look at the awning arms and see the original color. But I'm going to do the door frame black. Uh, it's going to be about that wide. Basically, all of the frame. I think that'll look pretty good. Just a little bit of roller mark right about here, but okay. Now you've seen how the RV looks painted with the chalkboard paint. Uh, let me know what you all think. Did I pick the right color? Or what what color have you done or something? Um, like I said, the RV was going to need painted anyway since I had those cracks in the overhead and I did the fiberglass repair. And uh, so I had planned on painting it all along. And since this was a cheaper RV, that that was the plan all along was to paint it with chalkboard paint. So. That's why I went with an older, cheaper one because I'm not that crazy enough to do it on an expensive, newer model. So, but uh, yeah, let me know what you think, how it came out. Uh, would you ever consider painting your RV like that? Just let me know. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this and I'm looking forward to taking it to some events and everything and letting people draw on it. Uh, the next step is hopefully one day this week I can get the bumpers and everything painted. Uh, and I also, I don't know if next is coming week, but uh, I want to get the RV into the mechanic here soon. I've done some research on some of the issues that I'm having and a lot of it sounds like it's just minor, minor stuff, so that's what I'm hoping anyways. But so, yeah, hopefully within a few weeks I can get it checked out and I can start uh, feel comfortable driving it around. But uh, yeah, 
thanks for watching and uh, if you're not subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that like button feel free to follow me on Instagram and all that good stuff so yeah thanks for watching